As industries embrace digital transformations, they start breaking down conventional business models, blurring industry boundaries, and accelerate the pace of innovation. The high-tech industry is poised to play a unique role, not just as an enabler of digital transformation, but also as a potential disruptor of all industries. IDC estimates that 70% of all high-tech revenue will be directly related to other industries adopting the digital economy by 2020. So what does this mean for high-tech companies? Well, this poses a tremendous opportunity for tech companies. New challenges are now emerging that are changing the economics of the entire industry. Let's look at a few of the macro trends driving this change. First, the shift to broad-based applications like the Internet of Things, or IoT, is characterized by many smaller devices at much lower price points versus leading edge devices in narrow applications in mature markets like cell phones and servers. Second, hardware is no longer the golden ticket. Over the past five years, profits from hardware have been cut in half. So if not traditional hardware, where is the next wave of profit to be found in the industry? Innovation with software. Software is now the true differentiator. Software, and especially software and products, provides the ability to leverage the Internet of Things. It makes products easier to use and creates an integrated platform uniting producers and consumers. If you look at the Fortune 500 as a group of the most successful companies, it's interesting to note that between the inception of the index in 1955 and the year 2014, 440 of these 500 companies have dropped from the index and are replaced with new, more innovative entrants. In fact, one of the companies that managed to stay in the index during that whole time is GE, a company that has just recently started to redefine their business from a hardware company to a software company. So how do you avoid becoming part of the 440? You need to harness the power of digitization, which is fundamentally transforming industries as we know it, but to your advantage. As I've been working with several high-tech companies, I'm seeing four patterns emerging, four things that successful companies are doing well. First, companies are adopting new business models by focusing on desired outcomes, not just their traditional products and services. To do this, they're moving from point-to-point buy-sell models to a network of interconnected suppliers, value-added resellers, and trading partners. They're also pivoting from offering point products to a platform model to enable an entire ecosystem of partners and developers to more quickly expand their offerings to new industries and markets. Second, high-tech companies are not just supporting, but now entering new industries, reimagining their products by making them smarter, connected, and scalable, and to offer complementary services that complete the customer's overall experience. Third, as high-tech enterprises digitally enable their own businesses, with new models and more sophisticated products, new business processes will need to be applied. For example, as software becomes a more prominent element of the portfolio, more questions will arise regarding entitlements. And questions of entitlements have grown significantly in just the last five to 10 years. Most existing processes to initiate, track, and enforce rights to use, rights to training, upgrades, etc., are likely in need of massive renovation. Finally, Transformation is changing the very nature of work as we know it. It requires a more empowered and flexible workforce. Breaking down the silos and dismantling bureaucratic hurdles allow your workforce to have a bigger impact on the overall goals of the organization. As an example, a large printer company made the strategic decision to move from selling printers to providing end-to-end -end solutions for everything related to documents. Making their printers smart through the use of sensors is one important enabler for changing their business model. Printers that know how many pages are printed and in which quality enabled new usage-based billing models, or what's commonly known as pay by the printed page. They were able to move to a new business model where almost 70% of their revenue is now generated as annuities. So how can SAP support you along your digital journey? It all starts with a reliable and simplified foundation to run your business in the moment, but with the agility to adapt as you enter new markets, offerings, or even new industries. We call this the digital core. It's an enterprise management platform that is necessary for day-to-day -day operations, such as ongoing changes to the upcoming revenue recognition standards for accounting compliance, ensuring your customers are getting real-time and accurate delivery dates for their orders, 
and reacting to changes from your supplier commitments when they happen. Let's look at an example. Think about the process of releasing new products to the market. Conventional thinking says profits begin to decline after the product reaches its initial growth phase in its life cycle. We're challenging this conventional wisdom. We believe that substantial profits can be harnessed well into the maturity phase of the product's life cycle when sales are at their peak. First, we ask, how are your customers using your products and what features are being used or not being used? By designing connected products, IoT technologies will capture the actual usage of the product and provide deep insight into how it's used. This data will be used to analyze current features and assist in the design of the next generation of the product. Based on this insight, specific engineering needs can be identified and sourced via outside R&D talent. Second, this insight provides a clear understanding of both hardware and software requirements. This allows your commodity managers to check availability and pricing of key commodities in the network, like memory and oscillators. Now, but you also have other products in your portfolio that have memory and oscillators. This level of visibility can now be leveraged to consolidate your spend for optimal pricing across your entire enterprise. Production planners schedule manufacturing with digitally connected outsourced suppliers and fulfill individual customer demand. And finally, all aspects of getting your next generation product to your customers are covered. This capability provides a consistent and simplified experience for your customers when doing business with you. Now what's great about all of this is it's repeatable. All the information gained during every stage of this continuous innovation is incorporated into your next generation of products. The journey to reimagine your future digital strategy involves all disciplines and requires a systematic approach to identify and capture business opportunities. One, understand your company and the SAP strategic direction. Two, prioritize opportunities based on value. Three, build a solution roadmap. Four, deliver transformation on time, on budget, and on value. And finally, continue your digital innovation because in high tech, you're never really done. Whether you're a startup in Silicon Valley or you've been around for years, SAP has a digital framework that can serve as a foundation for your company's growth and changes throughout this digital transformation. If you'd like to know more about digitization, I encourage you to visit our high-tech website at the link displayed on this screen.